Good afternoon. Today I want to teach you how you can fall asleep more easily. I'm going to go over a list of things you should avoid before going to bed. And then I'm going to talk about things you could do before going to bed. So for starters, I think this is a no-brainer. You should definitely avoid your phone or any screens late at night up to an hour before sleeping. I would advise you to completely avoid them. The reason I say this is because screens can have a very negative impact on your melatonin levels. Melatonin is a hormone that's produced by the body naturally. Um, when it gets darker out, your body produces more of it and it gives a signal to the body that it's, it should get ready for sleep. Same thing goes for any bright lights late at night. Uh, they too have a negative impact on melatonin levels. What I suggest you should do instead of using the bright lights, because you're obviously going to need some light, is to use some candles or maybe some minor small lights that, uh, that don't wake you up as much. Third one on the list is eating. Uh, I suggest you have your last meal three hours before going to bed or even earlier because your body really needs some time to digest. And if you eat just before going to bed, it's going to be uh, a tough night. Coffee is a popular subject. Um, caffeine in general should be avoided before going to bed if you have any trouble. Some people can drink coffee two hours before going to bed and they're fine. My dad is a an avid coffee drinker. He drinks about like 10, 10 cups of coffee a day and he's fine. So caffeine is very personal. But if you have any issues, like I said, definitely avoid it at night or even after about 4 p.m. because your body, some people's bodies need some more time digesting it and getting it out of their system. I know some people are gonna have a hard time with this one, but alcohol too should be avoided at night. Your body has to digest the alcohol as well. Uh, also, the alcohol will have a negative impact on your REM sleep, which is the deep sleep in which you, uh, you dream a lot, and it will definitely decrease the quality of your sleep. You may fall asleep quicker, but it's, uh, it's no good for sleep or recovery for that matter. In terms of exercise, I would uh, avoid any intense exercise, meaning cardio or super intense weight training or whatever. Recent studies have found that some moderate or light training, which could be hitting the weights uh, at a lower intensity, is actually fine at night, but heavy cardio, no good. Now I know you must be wondering what you can do before going to bed. I have a short list of things that I do, but you can fill this in yourself. As long as it's something that relaxes you and it doesn't include any of the negative things I talked about earlier, it's all good. So if you would like to learn more about sleep, I suggest you read the book by Matthew Walker called Why We Sleep. I learned so much from it and I still apply the things that I learned from it every day in my life. Same thing goes for uh, the recent podcasts by Andrew Huberman. He's a neuroscientist and I'll have his links below. So thank you for watching this video. If you could like it, that would be great. Subscribing is always good too. Um, I'm gonna be producing content twice a week. I don't know about what yet, but it'll come. So be ready for that and uh, I'll see you next time.